There we go. How about that? <laughs> I've been roaming around a little bit here. And then you're going to laugh when you find out what I did. Let me make sure I'm actually live first. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to see you. Lisa Harden coming to you on a special night. Friday night, June 17th. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. This thing's acting so weird. My computer always lags, of course, because I have a bunch of... There I am. <laughs> oh, there I am. There's my crazy hair. Maybe I should have done a little something with it. Like put a hat on. Man, it's too late now. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to see you. <coughs> Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much for your patience. I only went live about three times right now. I know. Take three, Donna, for sure. First, I don't know where I was. And then I saw you guys sharing my video onto my page. So that tells me that it wasn't in the right place. Anyway. I guess I was having too much fun with the paper pumpkin kit, and then I um, was like, oh, it's time to go live. All right, somebody's got to go live around here. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday to you, or possibly Saturday morning. I am Lisa Harden, coming to you live from the Stamping Zoo in a very beautiful, but a little bit overcast, Boise, Idaho today. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and one of the things that means is that you can purchase all of the products you're going to see here from me and thousands more. <laughs> thousands more for sure. You can also, if you live in the United States and you're not already working with a demonstrator, you can private message me your mailing address and I'll be happy to send you copies of our most current catalogs. Can you believe that? Yes, they are fantastic to look at. So fun. They are as much idea books as they are ordering materials. So I hope you'll take me up on that offer. I would love to get the chance to earn your business. And I just appreciate you being here tonight. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you, Ethel. I appreciate that. I'm in the right place. I was too. Oh, thanks, Jean. I couldn't get it to pull up on my, um, on my desktop. So... There you go. Uh, it always worries me. Like, oh my gosh, where have I gone live? Some random page that doesn't even know me? <laughs> mm. North Dakota is going to be close to 100 tomorrow. Mm. I think that's a good day to stay inside, don't you? So, we had a day that I think was 88 yesterday. It was supposed to be warm today, but... Mm -mm. It didn't really materialize. Yay. And uh, then it's supposed to cool down again tomorrow. So there you go. I'm lucking out. We might actually have a nice weekend. Uh, with That that means without downpours. <laughs> so, yes, I believe I got this pretty, pretty early. But um, let's see. What is today? Oh, well, I said the 17th. No, you know what? This is kind of my regular day. So, um... I got this yesterday, but it is June 2022 Pick of the Crop Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is, if you're not familiar with this, this is Stampin' Up's subscription kit. You receive this every month in your mailbox, should you choose to. Um, and you can also, yeah, um, somebody's KZ is just saying she just stopped it for the summer so she can catch up on other things. That's the great thing about it is you can easily suspend your account uh, for those months that it just doesn't work out or if you're too busy. But then um, for the coming month, unless you say otherwise, by the 10th of the month, you will receive it. And so uh, I would love it if you would like to give it a chance, see what it's all about. It's only $22 um, plus tax, shipping's included and all of that. And these products are exclusive to the Paper Pumpkin line of products. So you cannot purchase most of these products in the catalogs I just showed you. But it's just a fun little surprise. And every month we get hints as to what the kits will uh, include. But mostly it's still a really fun surprise. And every kit comes with a stamp set and a block of ink. I'm gonna grab mine right now. 
So you get a mini stamp and spot of a particular color that they're going to use. And then you get a stamp set. Now I have mine kind of peeled apart, but let me put a piece of paper back behind it so you can see. It's a really nice way to accumulate some stamps that are images as well as sentiments. Each month has a different theme, right? And this one is called Pick of the Crop. So we have some strawberries, blueberries, uh, one, two, three, four sentiments, five sentiments, sorry, going along with that theme. Uh, looks like a piece of lavender or a piece of greenery and then a little piece of texture. It's perfect. It's so fun. So I've just done a little bit of stamping. I have actually done the cards as designed. I should have done my alternates, but anyway, you know, that's life. I warmed up, but look at this. Would you please look at this? So this mini canvas tote, because this is, this theme is pick of the crop, right? Farm stands, farmers markets. And so what do you take to the farmer's market? You take your little tote. So you can tote home your tomatoes, potatoes, berries, all that stuff. So um, let me take this off for just a minute. Kathy Stern doesn't like the banner, but the banner is there for a reason, right? Because I want you to be able to find things. And so the banner draws your attention down. So when I was speaking with you about ordering with me, um, if you are going to place an order that's under $150, if you would please use my monthly host code, it helps me so much um, gather all of the smaller orders under $150 and accumulate benefits on those so that I can give them back to you in the form of prizes or extras at the classes and things like that. So I do appreciate that. But of course, if your order is $150 or more, I don't want you to use that host code. You'll still get freebies from me and whatever else I might be giving out as a promotion for the month, but you will earn host rewards. And host rewards are just extra product. And it starts at 10% or $15 on a $150 order and just goes up from there. So it's a great way if you're going to accumulate your own orders for um, you know several times and put them into one big order or if you want to get a group of friends together and place a large order, that is a nice way for you to essentially have an online party and get your own rewards. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. Um, I'm sitting here just like touching this little tote. And guess what? We're going to stamp on this tote tonight. We're going to do our best. And what if you run out? I mean, you're going to run out because you only have one. But there's a way to get more, and so we will talk about that in um, just a little bit. But so tonight, it's all about the paper pumpkin, okay? So uh, let me take it away here for just a minute. Let me get get this hair under control. Not really. I'm going to show you uh, the graphic for this month's kit, as well as, uh, well, I want you to see that so you can just um, know when I'm posting different things for this for this particular month, it will usually have this graphic on it. In fact, a couple of days ago, or maybe it was just yesterday, I posted um, a video from the company talking about this product. So it's just great. Um, and, and Stampin' Up! provides us with lots of ways to find out about the products and alternates and all that business. So um, I hope you enjoy this. It really is quite cute. So I'm gonna turn you down now. Let's see here. Let me just bring you on in and um, move a few things around here. Get our little market bag out and have some fun with this thing. And hello everyone, I'm gonna say a few highs. There's KZ. Uh, they have stepped up their game with Paper Pumpkin. And they absolutely get better every month. And I'm always surprised at uh, the little extras they put in them. And again, each month, they're only $22. And so I think there's only been one price increase in the entire seven or eight years that they've been doing it. That's really good, considering the particular seven or eight years that we've been through. So anyway, it's a great value. And like I said, it's a great way if you want to accumulate lots of um, stamp sets 
it's a really nice way to do that. The bag is a nice size, isn't it, Sherry? It's almost like it would hold cards, and so it does. So here are the cards as designed. Um, I have taken the kit apart because, like I said, I've been working with it, but you'll see all the pieces and parts. I'll do the very best to show you all the little, there's lots of little details on this. So again, here is, like we were talking about, the farmer's market. You want to get some nice, fresh baguettes, some flowers, and cheese, and a thinking of you. <laughs> so I would definitely send this to a girlfriend's where um, we get together and, you know, drink wine and go down to the market or have some coffee in the mornings and stuff. It's really fun. And then, oh, I should also show you, the, the envelopes themselves are little works of art. Aren't those pretty? Let's see. Oh, so one full side are these stripes. So keep that in mind. We can definitely use that with our alternate project if we want to. And then here is a perfect little farmer's market setup. You're the pick of the crop and like the card has all sorts of, it has a full scene on it. So this is a very easy card to make. In fact, all I did was I took a little bit of Wink of Stella and colored in the darker stripes. And then um, I did the sentiment and put the bread on. That's it. Put it up on dimensionals. And that's a beautiful card. And then kind of like that one, um, these are up on dimensionals, right? Little, um, I don't know what you call these, little pint containers. Um, you know what they are. Berry holders. <laughs> <laughs> whatever and um, I love you a whole bunch and then isn't that cute how some of it's dimensional and some of it's just printed directly on the card actually this same design is printed directly onto the card so it even makes it that much easier for you to put it together here let me grab a card base and I'll show you that there's no way you can put it in the wrong place because it looks just like this. So again, if you wanted to use this in another way, um, this card is still fully functional, right? But then this is what it looks like when you add the dimension. So just a little uh, extra. So anyway, I love the cards as designed. Sometimes I'm immediately wanting to change them up, but my gosh, I don't know how I can change these up. Kathy, you can't wait to get yours now? I know, it's so cute. They're all so cute. Like this one has its own little bag. And um, so it was kind of funny. I popped on here, of course, about a half hour ago. I was trying to make sure things were going to go smoothly. What a joke. I don't know why I bother. And um, anyway, I was watching Ange McKay. And she was working with this too. So if you were over there and then you're coming over here, you know, I apologize. I'll try to make it a little different. <laughs> Leslie, you would love to get this paper pumpkin. Well, um, it's it's super cute, isn't it? I know. I maybe they will make it as a special for you. I'm not sure. So again, this kit, as I'm showing you tonight, is twenty two dollars. Please keep that in. Well, it. I don't know if you can get it. Get this particular kit if you're not already um, a subscriber, but. There might be refill kits. And then if you sign up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber later, you could still get um, the refill. But I do want to show you. Oh, shoot. Let's see here. I had, there we go. So um, there's a number four if you want to buy four more of these bags. This is the item number 161. <laughs> What's it doing? Stop it now. There we go. 161922. You can add on four mini shopping bags, four more of these for $13. Um, and that is, again, it will only come up as an option for you if you are already a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. But again, you could sign up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber tonight. You could get the, then you'd be all ready to get the July kit, which is going to be, oh my gosh, I'm going to show you a graphic for it. It's going to be probably as much fun as this one. And then um, you can get these three extra bags, four extra bags, I'm sorry. I'm going to get the four 
because this makes such a great gift. Like I said, um, these are great girlfriend gifts. They remind me of going to the market with my girlfriends. So wouldn't it be cute when you're going to the market with your girlfriends to give them this shopping bag with cards in it? What? My girlfriends already know that I give them very cute things. So they would be so shocked. Let's do this. Let's just stamp on this bag because we gotta check it out and see how it looks. Now, the ink that came with this was Calypso Coral, and I'm not using that particular one. I am using, um, I'm using my own large, large sizes of ink pads. I was using Rich Razzleberry. Uh, so this is the other nice thing about Paper Pumpkin is you can use lots of other supplies that you have to um, make them a little bit different. Yeah, just make them a little bit different from everyone else's. And um, so please keep that in mind. I think we should put this hello stamp right in the middle of our bag because it's gonna be a little hello to our friend. And then um, we have blueberries, raspberries, and the heather. I really like the heather as much as the berries are very cute. But um, kind of thinking maybe we'd use the heather, but I don't know. Let's just check it out. And then the colors in the cards are um, Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss. Let me see. So what I'm looking at right now, these are the instructions that come inside the kit. Okay. You don't even really need the instructions because there's a great picture on the front. But if you want all the instructions, it even tells you where to put the adhesives, which are also included in the kit. It tells you where to put the adhesives, so you're not going to get anything wrong. And there's no words, because people don't read words anyway. Anyway, And so they said, all right, we're just getting rid of the words. And then if you need to cut, cut ribbon or twine, as in the case of this kit, it even has a ruler. So you just need a pack of scissors, or a pair of scissors, sorry, and that's it. That's all you need for this. So I will show you the number for those mini bags again. Um, what are the sentiments in the kit? One minute. And I will show you that. Let's see. I need to get that solid. Okay, so we have thinking of you. Love you a whole bunch. You're the pick of the crop. Whoops. Hello, of course. And you are the sweetest. So perfect for really anything, but especially perfect when you're dealing with berries and the farmer's market. Oh, yeah, they're really nice. I like them a lot. So let's see here. Okay, so what I was going to show you was on the back of the flyer, it gives you, hey, would you like to do more? If you want to do even more with your kit, well, here are three alternates that they've made. Um, the company's designers and so you can do that and if you don't know which products were used you they tell you where to go to find that there's all sorts of resources for paper pumpkin um, but over here it tells you exactly what's in the kit right and then it tells you what colors are used in the kit so it is blackberry bliss although I used rich razzleberry and I thought it looked just fine too We've got some crushed curry, garden green, night of navy, soft succulent. And so we have lots of lots of them to choose from. I do kind of think I want to use night of navy for a nice dark sentiment. And then why don't I do some of the flower sprigs in rich razzleberry or blackberry. So it's going to be, you know, the image is not going to be as solid as it is when you put it on paper. So that's why I'm thinking I want them to be a little bit darker. Ooh, that's really pretty, isn't it? I like how that stamps. That's good stuff. Okay. So I think that's going to be bold enough to show up on this. But I kind of only get one chance or else I have to cover it with something. So I'm going to try and get it right. Just kind of making sure there's no wrinkles back there. And there aren't. Okay, I'm going to put some more ink on it. I got nervous. 
Oh, Jean, I knew you were going to see my nails. I just got my nails done earlier today. <laughs> yep, I did, friend. I'm going to let that sit there for just a minute. I feel like it's transferring the ink, right? Okay. What do you think? Oh, it's so it's not nearly as strong as it was, but that's okay. <laughs> that's so funny. And then I'm going to put a couple of these um sprigs on here. Now I don't even know if it's going to look different, do you? It almost looks gray. Let's see. There's my chamois. Got to have the chamois. Watch a good one. Oh, rated G. Are there, is there anything rated G anymore? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I feel like not, but maybe that's just, I'm making, those are just the choices I'm making or something. <laughs> so with your first paper pumpkin kit, you will receive a size D block and that will work with all paper pumpkin stamps. They size them so that that works regardless. But as you can tell, I am using some of my own supplies. See, now that transferred much more as a color than um, the navy did, didn't it? Oh well, that's okay. I think I want two of those. See, I'm gonna get four more bags. So now then I will know that maybe I don't wanna use the Knight of Navy. It really did come off more as gray. But you know what, it's still cute. Yeah, no, it looks great in person too, Jean. Um, okay, well, live and learn. Maybe the next one won't be Night of Navy, but it'll be something else. And really, gray and rich raspberry, I think, are a perfect combination. So, that works in my world. See, my girlfriends don't know that I wanted to try and make that navy. They just know that it says hello and has some cute sprigs on it. So, It'll be fine. Nobody tell them, okay? <laughs> yeah, these don't look gray, do they? What do they look like to you, Jean? Any particular color? <laughs> Jean watches my nail color very closely right now because she knows that I love our In Color Club so much that I am paying homage in the form of nail color. <laughs> But I can't seem to book my appointments on the last day of every month. It's just not working out. So it kind of ruins the surprise of the actual kit. But wait until you see it in person. Oh, adorable. It's all ready to go. Couldn't be cuter. Okay. So let's see. I already have an idea for an alternate. I don't have it worked out specifically, but that's what you're here for, right? You're going to help me. Let me grab some soft succulent. One minute, soft succulent. Come on now. Get out of there. Okay. So some beautiful soft succulent, just like the awning that's on this beautiful little cart. And I'm going to cut a card base, our standard four and a quarter, or no, 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 eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, and then, let me see if this thing will fit inside. Because what I want to do, of course, is I want to put it... Oh, it just fits. I don't know. Is that going to work? So I want to put it so that when you open it up, it pops up. Right? I don't... I think it's going to be too tall. Hmm. What could we do about that? We could cut the wheels off. What do you think? Would that be awful? <laughs> What if we cut the wheels off? I think we should cut the wheels off. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Unless you cut them off. Let's see if I can get this on the trimmer even. 
So I'm really just looking at, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me pull it up here a little bit. I'm just going to put it across the track so that the tray of, um, there we go, is just on the bottom. We will cover up the other part with a sentiment. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just cut the wheels off of that thing. My gosh. Well, there's no sense in looking back now. So now we have some room so that we can put this thing on a little pop-up block. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really. I wouldn't do it. Well, it's too late, Jean. Cut the wheels in half. You could. I'll see. Maybe we, maybe what we do is we put a sentiment here and then we can put the wheels on differently, but it's all right. Here's what I want to do. I want to make, I want to make this rectangle thing. Now I could have looked this up and followed somebody's tutorial, but where's the fun of that, right? I just wanted to make my own. So you're going to come along with me and then you'll know how to make these things or or you'll know how not to do it. So I want a, I want a cube back behind this thing that's about two and a half inches wide. Two and a half, five, seven and a half, oh, ten. I need it to be ten inches long. Is that right? Hmm. I guess so. Let me grab another piece of sweet sorbet. I know, it'll work. We'll make it work. When you cut the wheels off, you just gotta figure it out. <laughs> and if somebody doesn't know that it had wheels on it in the first place, then that's gonna go a long way to convincing them that it's quote unquote correct. Okay, I feel like I need something that is Hmm. One and a half inches. I, I don't quite know how. See, I should have done this ahead of time. But thank you for sharing. Oh, yes, thank you for sharing. Everybody can look at my crazy hair and see me figuring this out. So I want to make a square that's two and a half inches wide. And, oh, how long though? No, two and a half inches long. Hmm. Maybe I should do it this way. This will help me visualize it a little bit better, I think. Let me make sure that's how wide I want it to be. Yes, I wanted it to sit within here, and it does. Because it's going to support the middle, ideally. And then the rest will just pop up, right? Okay, so if you're just tuning in, I realize this looks weird because you're just looking at my paper trimmer. But rest assured, we're making a card. We, yes, we are. And then how about if I want it three quarters of an inch? How about one inch? Yeah. Let's score this thing. One at one, two. Three, four, and four and a quarter is where we will cut. Weird, right? Haven't made this before, by the way. <laughs> I feel so brave. Yep. Haven't made it before. Just had it in my mind. <laughs> Super fun. What's everybody doing tonight or today? Now, Roz, right when I was coming on, or I was getting graphics ready, I saw you sent me a picture. I think the grands, your little grandkids were all in the pool. Oh, it looked so nice. I'm going to cut these this way. I don't think you're going to see much of this, but we still like to make it nice and neat, don't we? Okay, so you have... Dear Lord, I hope this works. Do a little prayer over it. Two and a half by four and a quarter. Scored at one, two, three, and four. Okay? 
and then I cut the tabs off on the corner because we're going to make this little square. <gasps> That's it. Seems like it should be so easy and make sense. And since this isn't very long, I'm just going to use liquid glue because it'll be easy to um, hold it down here. So fold this down so it's flat, fold this together, okay? And then you could put a block on it if you were doing something else. I put that there as a little reminder, right? And then so let's slide that off to the side while it's drying. And let's think about what we're going to put on the front of this because the inside is going to have the flower cart, right? Popping up for service. And I love the hello stamp. And I really was thinking that I want to um, stamp this down the card. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it'll be tight, but it could be three times in three different colors that are in. Um, that coordinate with our beautiful basket, or sorry, our cart. So um, again, that's Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Night of Navy, Soft, Soft Succulent. So I want to do the front of the card so that the colors are really vibrant. So we better grab some white in this case. And it's a video. Oh, yes, nice. Well, hey, that's where I'd be hanging out. I remember, yeah, my grandparents had a, one of my grandparents had um, a pool, actually. It was nice. We didn't go over there a ton, but, you know, when we did go, it was super fun. Four. So I'm cutting the front of this at four by five and a quarter, okay? And we can always change it up if we think we need it smaller. However, I wanna put three hellos on this thing. And so we've gotta have enough room to do that. Okay, and then I'm thinking, here's these two colors go so well together. What about Let's of coral, or do you want crushed curry? So do you want calypso or curry? You guys let me know, and then that's how we will stamp it. Calypso or curry? Which is your preference? Not to eat, just to stamp with. Now, in the meantime, this little thing is perfectly put together. It's going to be the pop-up function of the pop-up card. Okay. And while you are deciding what our middle color is going to be, I'm going to be brave, and I am going to stamp the first one. I'm going to turn it this way so I can see it really close. Get it to the edge now. Okay, and I should be using my paper piercing mat, but that looks beautiful. So we lucked out. Roz says curry. Jean says she was doing a little housework today. Well, that was that was not good, Jean. But I guess somebody has to do it, right? <laughs> now you say I rather I would have rather been in the craft room. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I speak Jean. Yeah, you're not supposed to be doing heavy lifting. I'm sure. Uh-oh, we have a curry and a calypso. Who's going to break that tie? Let's see a few more. Mm -hmm. Kathy, you were so busy. Thank you for reminding me about creativity now. Because I'm attending that. And I haven't even looked recently to see if they gave us some... Uh, heads up on things we need. So I appreciate that. I've got to do that in the morning. Okay, I have Calypso and I have a curry. Who's going to break that tie? Or do you want me to? Oh, there we go. We got a curry. We got a curry. We got three curries. So I think that was a good call. Although I love them, love them all equally. My children. 
Now I think I'm going to put the navy at the bottom. I'm feeling confident that we have room for all three. And if not, it's paper. No big deal. And then I'll be able to center the Calypso, right? Okay, so again, I'm catching a little glare from my light, but I think we're there. Oh, so pretty. You just have to remember to get it on the chamois and clean it up. You, oh, we got the sign-in info. Excellent. I saw that email, but again, I hadn't pulled it up yet. So I don't know what I was waiting for. I guess tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait because I can't remember the suite. You guys will have to tell me, but it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that paper. <gasps> Stop it. So gorgeous. Oh, I think this is going to look really pretty. It's going to be a little bit intertwined, but not really. Look at that. I like it. Pretty, pretty. Now let's see. Do we want to put something else on the front? We could put these bare. Well, we have to put something because that looks odd. Um, I was thinking about putting something dimensional. No, what about the sprigs? And um, I was thinking about maybe running it through an embossing folder. What do you think about that? Time-worn type. I like that one. Oh, we used that super fun thing last night. That hybrid embossing folder. That thing is so fun. I'm in love with it. I, yeah, I'm going to be making tree rings until I don't know when. The end of time. <laughs> okay, where did my... There we go. Rich Razzleberry. I'm going to put a few of these on here. And, of course... It wouldn't be stamping if I didn't stick my hand right in it. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? These are good stamps. You're going to your downline's house for creativity now. That makes it so much fun. Yes, my team... Well, everybody's always invited, but... Um, Maria is usually the one who comes over, and we always have a good time. But I have something going on right before it, and um, so I'm going to be solo tomorrow. So I told her she has to report in and let me know how it's going over on her side of the valley. Okay, one last thing I want to do, of course, before I put that thing into the embossing folder is I'm going to splatter it with a little dark night of navy. Ooh, how about that? Okay, so paintbrush end. Okay, and I'll just do a little spritzing. It's beautiful, I love it. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in the time-worn type embossing folder. It is a beautiful embossing folder. As with all of our embossing folders, it's very detailed. It actually has words from, I think, a 19th century poem on it. Uh, maybe I'm getting my centuries wrong, but hopefully not. Anyway, because of that, make sure that you have the words right way up. Okay, so the way that you use or put your paper into these folders, usually, is the side with the logo, is the side you are going to put on the front of your card, and there's also a straight line down at the bottom of most of them that are newer. So in this case, I really want it to be straight. So I'm going to follow that line, right? Put this all this way. I'm going to run it through the Stamba Kent and Bosch machine with the fold first. So since that's not set up, because like I, my assistant's obviously off for the day. You know, my assistant that I don't have, well, she took the day off, or he took the day off, I guess. So, um, it's all right, because the Stampin' Kent Embossed Machine has a really nice handle on it, and it folds up, so I only need one hand to get it out and get it organized. 
and then we use. I know you're not seeing this. It's okay. I'm just off to the side. Doing working my fold, working my embossing magic over here. interest in texture and we've got splatters and this and that and the other <laughs> I really like that and then I'm gonna take some of the twine and tie it right here in fact they sent us I believe linen thread and then I just pulled what I what I had open right here which is I believe it's probably crumb cake but it's um, it is the Baker's twine essentials pack and it is so essential. So just an FYI, you can find that in the annual catalog. I'm gonna do a double bow here. I always like, I love Baker's Twine, but I like it to be a little bit thicker. The gnomes are on the top. Oh, I love this question, yes. Do you have a favorite in the upcoming catalog? The gnomes, love the gnomes. Yes, the gnomes are cute. They're so cute. You guys are encouraging me to get them because I was like, I don't know. Maybe have I done too many gnomes in the past, but these are new gnomes. They're easier. I don't have to do punch art. We have die cuts, right? I could do that punch art in my sleep. I cut so many of those gnomes. Oh my gosh. And it was fun. But geez, if I already had set of dies ready for me. I think that would be fun too. Okay, so I'm just trying to straighten out the loops. Hey, now it looks like I didn't do it at all. Baker's Twine does this a little bit. So you just have to like manhandle it. And let's see, I may as well put, and Forest Friends, is Forest Friends returning or is that the one with the cartoony looking bear. Okay. I guess I should have made sure that mechanism's gonna work first before I started decorating this card. Oh well, that's how much faith I have in myself. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna make it work, it'll be fine. And then we're gonna use some glue dots on this. Um, probably two because I'm feeling like with that texture underneath it, just might need an extra friend. Okay. And then we can kind of clean it up a little bit, move this around where we want it. Ugh. I don't know if it's playing nicely or not. Stop that now. Come on. Come out of there. There we go. You straighten up. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Here's what I can do. Let me grab another glue dot. It looks like it might stay, but it also might not stay. Happiest hello, that's what it was. Somebody wants to set with the barn. Oh yeah, that's really pretty, Corinne. I think that one's really pretty actually. And I just kind of Put this under the loop. I didn't want to glue it down all the way, but I do want it to behave. Ooh, that's cute. We can still put some embe em embellishments on that as well. Okay, now all I need to do is glue this. Let's see. Like I said, I haven't done it before. Shouldn't be worried, right? No big deal. <laughs> Do I glue it to the bottom or the top? I think I glue it to both and then it folds down. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use the tear and tape though. Oh my gosh, if this works. If this works, I'm gonna give myself, I don't know, some hot tamales in celebration tonight. <laughs> oh, thanks Lori. It doesn't look like much right now, but we're working on it, aren't we? So your recipient is gonna love this so much. 
that they are going to fiddle around with this card a lot. So because of that, use some tear and tape, right? Use two strips and you're going to want to put it on two sides of this little block that you made. And that's why it's called tear and tape. It doesn't have to go all the way across, I don't think, but just give it a little bit, burnish it on there, make sure it's going to kind of stay where you want it. Oh my goodness, friends, I've still been watching The Handmaid's Tale. I'm in season three now. It makes me feel very thankful <laughs> for the littlest things. It's very thought provoking. And the sad thing is I tried to read the book and I do not read lots of dystopians or sci-fi or anything like that. And so I didn't care for the book. I tried to read it several years ago. And, but I'll tell you what, the movie, I'm glued to it. Speaking of glued, now I am just eyeballing this, right? But I can see it's in the middle-ish. Okay. And then I am going to, of course, I made sure that that was in the fold. Now I'm going to fold this down and then burnish it so that when I pop it up, then it's where it needs to be without folding this thing strangely, right? And there we have, let me make sure you can see this, is nothing more than a little square of um, cardstock, okay? So then we're going to put this in here and then it's going to pop up and surprise your person. They'll be like, what? You are a card magician. I'm just going to put a little bit in here on the bottom. And remember, I said we were going to put a sentiment down at the bottom of this. So we don't want to go all the way down to the bottom. Well, I mean, I guess we can, but we don't have to. So see, that's why the wheels, mm -mm, they weren't gonna work. It was gonna be too tall. But we can still make this look like a little tabletop, right? So then, oh my gosh, is this gonna work? Oh, it's too tall. Okay, take it off. Don't flick, don't flip out like I did. Just take it off there before it gets all stuck. I guess we'll have to put it all the way down. Let's see. Yeah, it's just trial and error. I don't know. So that's still fine too. Okay, so then when you fold it, because you don't want to see it coming out the top, and then your person's going to open it right, and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you are amazing. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Very good. So let's do a tiny bit of decorating. Now, should I have done that before I put this in here? Probably. Do I care? No. <laughs> I don't care about that going to be super fun. You could put some of these down there and do this whole thing like, you know, a big berry um, farmer's market, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to put the sentiment in here. Where is it now? Because it's super fitting. It says you're the pick of the crop. And it goes on this sentiment strip. I'm sorry I can't really show this to you. Like this is Hello, right? Um, but I'm going to put it on this sentiment strip and it'll be right down there so that, you know, it kind of looks like it's standing up with everything. And they can display it because I'm sure it'll be displayed forever. <laughs> My mom puts hers in her kitchen window and they get all faded, but she puts them up there for a long time. <laughs> and then she knows I'll make her another one. So it's all good. Now, I think I'm going to use crushed curry because we used crushed curry on the front. So let's go ahead and do that. And I don't remember what I thought this said at the beginning, but I didn't think it said you're the pick of the crop. What did I think it said? I thought it said crap at the end for a second there until I came to my senses and realized, I don't think Stampin' Up didn't put crop or anything on a sentiment. So again, photo polymer, so nice. You can just see right through them. And it's got those Knight of Navy strips, um, border, so it looks just like the outside. Oh, 
Okay, she says, it's all right with the wheels off. Well, what are you gonna do, right? I cut them off. You have to be merciless when you're taking a chance sometimes. You just gotta do it. Give it a try. And let's see here, because they don't know that it came with wheels until later when you show them the other cards. They just know that it's like all decorative and cute. So this would be something that, I don't know, you might open up and put at your desk. You're the pick of the crop. That's so cute. Now, if I was doing this again, and I might, I think I would stamp these strawberries and blueberries back behind it in soft succulent. And as you can tell, I'm getting ready to do it right now, even though it might not be that easy. And it might not be smart, but we're trying. We're just trying things out. Oh, it looks great. You guys are so nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's, we don't have, I mean, I know we have green strawberries, but this is more about just the design, not about the color of an actual strawberry. Although there are green strawberries. I know. Uh, where are those blueberries before I get too carried away here? I'm going to put those in here too. So you get all sorts of things to play with in a paper pumpkin. And that's why there's so much fun to take with you when you're going to someone's house and they've never stamped before because it's super easy, right, to just like open this up and start stamping. Let's say you go to have wine, right, with your friends, and then all of a sudden you're like, uh, let's all make a card. Oh, and by the way, I, everybody gets a little market bag. I think that would be so fun. I might really do that with my friends. Because, let's see, I could invite three other people because I'm gonna have four market bags, or I could splurge and buy more market bags. Um, yeah, Lisa, don't be stingy. <laughs> See, now this is where it gets a little weird, right? But the stamps are small. Just have a firm grip on your blocks and try and make sure you stamp some of them so that they're not all full images. Like up here, put it sideways and then just get part of it, right? Or, over here, just the end. And the next time you do this before you put the card together, and then it'll look really cool. <laughs> but this is still fun. I like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I like it. All right, so let me see. So we do not have other embellishments in the card kit besides um, the twine, which I didn't actually used. I used a slightly different twine. But you know what? Let me see if I have anything else that might work. Gosh, I wonder. I mean, I don't think I have a thing. <laughs> I don't think I have a thing, you guys. It's like I don't have a thing to wear. Only like 27 different kinds of embellishments. Because y'all, I can't help myself. We have the most beautiful embellishments. <gasps> Those are soft succulent. So these are red and green adhesive-backed pearls coming up in the new holiday catalog that I just showed you. I just showed you the cover of, not the whole thing, right? Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Silver, gold, soft succulent, and maybe cherry cobbler. I don't remember that part, but I know that they are really gorgeous. Are they iridescent? No. But they're really, they have a beautiful finish on them. So anyway, that's just one thing coming your way. Of course, you can order them now if you are a demonstrator, happy shopper. You can have them. You can have, you can order two right now. And then beginning July 1st, we can all order them. Isn't that great? Everybody can have them. That's too far. I don't know. I don't know, there's not really a rule about dots, but there must be a rule in my head because that looked wrong. Okay, I think that's good enough. What do you think about this?
this one. I love it. Yes, there's one bag in the kit. And then you can add on bags in um, quantities of four for an additional $13. So what is that? Uh, three, about $3 for a bag. You've been writing the colors down on the backs of the gems. That's a good idea because I always feel like I'm going to remember them. But the reds sometimes get me sidetracked. Oh, look, you guys, you've got to make it. Okay. So remember, I did a two and a half long. We're looking at this right here. This is two and a half long. Okay. By four or two and a half wide by four and a quarter long. Scored it every one inch. And then you have a quarter inch tab at the end of it to glue one side to another. Just make yourself a little square there. And then Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Whatever that means. But if you're from the UK, you understand what that means. Bob's your uncle. You're finished. Okay. Do we like this? Do you like the pop-up idea? Would you be willing to cut the wheels off of one of your carts? To do that, I think you should give it a try. You'll enjoy it. I found it very freeing. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the supplies and, and uh, whip up one more, shall we? Again, we can take, you know, these cards apart. Oh, yeah, baby. And um, we can use, I mean, it's envelopes, I'm sorry. And we can use that paper right there. So let me bring out my paper trimmer again. Okay, let's let this honey bee over to the side. I'll show it again before we finish. Don't you worry. I'm gonna show that off. This is straightish. For now, I'm just trying to get the big edges off of the designer paper, the patterned paper, I should say. This is not designer paper per se, it's uh, envelope weight, but we can definitely use the pattern of it. Oh, so nice ladies. Thank you, Kathy and Apple. I appreciate that. Quite kind of you. Okay. This, I know that this side's straight, so I'm gonna start, well, I know it's pretty straight. Four and a quarter get four and a quarter, but then how wide? No, I need it to be four. That's fine. By five and a quarter. Oh, interesting. Well, it doesn't need to be the whole thing. We can do part of it in um, embossing or something. In fact, I have these minis. You may have them as well. One of them says thanks and one says hello. Since we've done a hello card, let's do a thanks card. Okay, so let's cut about four. This has got to be, sorry. This has got to be four long, or no, no, no. This one, well, let's see, which is longer? No, this is the shorter one. And see, I can tell that this edge is are good. So I'm looking over here. I'm straightening this edge because that one was the straight one. And then I'm going to slowly kind of square this thing off so I can see what I'm working with. Thank you, Kathy. So fun, huh? I like doing it. And now that I know that that side's square, I can bring this over and trim it as well. Okay. Now, that's looking a little bit better. Still not as long as I need it, but let's do four by three or something. I don't know. Okay, let's work with this piece. And let's bring in, um, The baguette with the um, cheese and all that business. Ooh, I don't like the baguette on that pink stripe. Looks kind of weird. That doesn't though. That looks beautiful. Oh, that looks so pretty. OK, 
Okay, we're going to use that along with maybe this sentiment off to the side and twine or some kind of ribbon. And then um, the thank you set. I think this needs to be on. This is this says it was Rich Razzleberry, right? But I'm going to bring in some Highland Heather because I am suspect. I have a little suspicion that we're going to get far with Highland Heather. Maybe. Let me bring in the other one I was thinking of, which is Fresh Freesia, right? And let's see what we think about that one. Ooh. Hmm. Or do we want to go pink? What was this pink? Petal pink? Boy, what, one thing about it, those instructions like to go walk about. While I am pulling the petal pink, I do want to show you. This is the little tickler for next month. Wait until we get that one. If you think this one's great. Sending messages in bottles. Now, I don't know. I was sending good thoughts. I don't know. Is that bottle going to be in there? I'm not sure. But I know it's going to be super cute, whatever it is. So, I'm all in. Are you? What do you think? I think we should give it a try. And then we'll meet back here one month from now ish and work on alternates. What do you think? I think it sounds like a good idea. So again, if anyone would like to purchase Paper Pumpkin and from me, I would be very appreciative. I will put the link to subscribe in the body, the description of this video after I finish it. But um, if you have any questions about it or if you just want me to walk you through it, I'm happy to do that. I can email you a link, which is very easy. Okay, so now we're looking at Petal Pink, and we have some Petal Pink designer paper. I believe that's the feller. I lost the instructions. They're off somewhere in La La Land, so I can't quite tell you. So now we're looking at uh oh, Petal Pink. No, shush. Petal Pink designer. Forgot things were getting stacked onto the <laughs> onto my um, keyboard. So there we go. Okay, now let's see here. See, there's all sorts of the there's all sorts of languages, right? Um, different ways to say thank you, and so we're going to use part of it. I kind of want to use the English part off to the side. Then I can get merci in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a full strip and emboss the whole thing and then we'll be able to just cut out uh, the strip we want. Okay, so again, bringing in, I think I'm just going to keep it the same color. Let me bring in some more petal pink and excuse me for just a minute while I try to find a scrap because Lord knows I need to be pulling my scraps a lot more than I have been. So, yes, there we go. And I think we should make this one. This one was three by four, I believe. Three by four. Now let's make this guy. Four and Let's do him three by four too. And then we'll just do a little shimmy in here and there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just told you what I wanted to do, didn't I? And then I did the opposite. Um, how long is this? This is three and a quarter. Okay, let's see if I have three and a quarter in this thing. Yes, I do. Okay, that's better. 
and we don't have to be so worried about where are the paper files in our embossing folder. We'll just take care of it afterward. Okay, there we go. So again, going back over here to let the stamping kit and emboss machine work its magic. And remove a couple of these things so they don't go tumbling down. Fold first, everybody. Don't forget. Fold first, my friends. The reason we do that is because it is, well, from what I understand, it gives less pressure on the embossing folder. Whereas if you put it into the machine first like this, it might build up pressure and then snap the fold right there. And I guess it would still be operational, but it would be a hassle. <laughs> you don't want them to be snapped in half if you can avoid it. Yes. Oh my gosh, now look at that. Is that not beautiful? Oh, I haven't embossed this in a while. It's gorgeous. Some things I definitely cannot attempt to say. Let's see, vielen Dank, gracias, merci, thanks, bedanki. No, bedank. I don't know. Gatsi, danka. I don't know what that is. Uh, merci beaucoup, of course. Okay. Uh, I want to say that's Greek. I don't know why. Just and I don't know how to say it. But see, this is the fun thing that it does, right? It just brings these things to mind. Like now, I'll be thinking about that tonight. Like, gosh, I wonder what that means. And then I'll be looking it up. Okay, so it's gonna be four long. And I know I can trim some of this off, because remember I said I'm gonna have thanks be off to the right. Okay, so let's see what it looks like when I take it four inches out on the paper trimmer. I think it looks really good, but I could trim this a little bit more and maybe get Dunka in there in full, and that would be fun. So we're just kind of shimmying. I think that's as far as I can take it, but the D, the type on Donka is really big, so. And then let's see, how wide is this thing? I said I wanted to take it about three inches. And I definitely don't want to cut off Merci. So why don't I cut off a quarter inch on the bottom and then take it to three inches. And that's just about three inches, actually, it probably was. So now, let's see. I have cut that so close that it has kind of a fuzzy end where the um, where the fibers are. I'm going to show you a little fix for that. If I can find my magic tool, yes I can. A little sanding block. I do believe this was ours a long time ago, but it's since retired. It used to be a distressing tool, right? But it can also be a cleanup tool is you can just sand those tiny broken fibers off. And there, this corner's a little funky. Again, I was cutting embossed paper, so that's already, you know, it's already been broken down a little bit. So I don't wanna go too far with it, but that's good. Okay. Now, let me move this thing. Well, maybe let me get a piece of white and then I'll get rid of that for an insert. It should be, I'll be whatever is in English. Well, yeah, no, it means thank you. I just meant, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I wasn't going to attempt to. I already sound funny enough saying the other, saying what I did. Three and three quarters by five. That's our little insert. Let's take a few of these pieces and parts up. Isn't this fun though? Like, hey, we figured out that we could dismantle the envelope and make a couple little patterns out of it. And then your other Stampin' Up! friends are gonna be like, hey, where'd you get the pattern paper? They'll be like, you know, out of the inside of the envelope. No big, everybody does it. Okay. 
You can also find a bazillion, and I do mean a bazillion, ideas, alternate or as designed, over on um, the Facebook group Paper Pumpkin Fan Club. That is the brainchild of the very talented Rachel Tessman, a wonderful U.S. demonstrator. And um, so you can find lots of ideas over there. It's just a free group to, um, to join. I was looking like, do we want these on the bottom? Do we want them on the top? I kind of think we just have to test it out and see what we like. First of all, I want more of the pattern paper than the thanks. So I may be cutting the thanks down because this doesn't lay quite nicely on there. So this is three. So what we want, we want it to equal five and a quarter. And if this is three, then I can have two and a quarter of this paper. So let's see where that brings me up here. Hmm. Let me take a quarter inch off of the top. You gotta be ruthless. <laughs> Two and a quarter. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that was kind of a rough one. That pulled the paper a little bit. So, where's my sinking block again? See, that's the only bad thing about embossing and then cutting but you know I don't always do that but I wanted a certain area and I don't know that that's that bad quite frankly okay now that looks better and then that's going to be centered it's a little rough down there can't do anything about it you won't even notice it it's so beautiful and we could run some paper across this and it would like serve as a ribbon or we could find some actual ribbon we'd like to put with it now do we have some cuddle pink ribbon though i have some white ribbon the crinkle seam binding ribbon that would be nice i don't know if i want that much activity though movement sorry activity that, mm, no. I don't like white and vanilla. It's not my deal. Um, I think, let me bring this in and you guys can tell me. This is still available, technically. Um, it's really thin though, but it is still available until the end of June. And it comes in a combo pack. So just keep that in mind if you're looking or something like that might even be on sale I don't know this is really wide I'm not a huge fan this is carrying over though it's in the annual catalog so um, I like it somebody's colored it before and made it look like grass that part's fun okay I think I don't like I don't care for it I think we're just gonna do um, this little bit of ribbon yeah, it's okay. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a backing piece of Petal Pink because I want this stuff to sit up off of the card and I wanna wrap some of this ribbon around. So I need that to look a little more finished than it does already. Now, do I have another piece of Petal Pink? Oh my gosh, in all this paper, I do not have a piece of Petal Pink that's big enough. Hilarious. Well, thank goodness I have a few more pieces back behind me. A few hundred. I don't think I have a thousand, but no, maybe I do actually. Okay, so let's do um, four by five and a quarter. So I'm running this air filtration in my bedroom. It's not like a full-on Dyson. It's something my aunt gave me at Christmas, which I totally love as a gift because, you know, you have to listen to me with those crazy allergies. And anyway, but I can hear it from here. And I'm like, that cannot run at night. I can tell you right now, that will not be okay. 
as I'm sure I've mentioned this before, I am basically the princess in the pea when I'm sleeping. Like, I cannot have any sound. I've lived alone too long, and now I cannot have any sound. I mean, the dogs, yes. But you know what? I don't let them get out of line. If anybody starts fighting or growling, they get kicked out. I know. I realize you can't believe that, but it's true. Um... So I'm certain that I'm not going to be able to listen to an air filter humming around. But if I ran it through the day, I guess that might be good. We'll see. I'll give it a try. Um, but one really thing, really nice thing about it is I have thought about buying the Dyson before, which is like, of course, uber expensive. Okay, so I'm going to trim that just with the scissors. And um, so this is a nice way to tell like... Would I want that? Would it really help? Now this this one is, I'm guessing, a much lower price version because my aunt gave three of them away as a gift. Um, not that she wouldn't buy me the nicer one, but I hope she didn't. So anyway, I'm going to give it a try. And if I really like it or notice a big difference, but you know, like every place else, the air quality is not as good as it used to be. And lots of times we deal with smoke from forest fires. And because of the wind, they may be from here or they may be three states over. You know, we don't know. So anyway, that's just my thoughts. Does anybody else have thoughts on air filtration? Do you guys have one that um, is an add-on? You know, I know that you can actually put them in your homes. But... Um, that I don't think I'm going to be able to do that price wise but does anybody run these kind of things in your house and do you notice a difference my dogs don't shed um, they lose hair but I don't think it's like allergies from that it's just allergies I've had all my life from environmental you have a fan on all night see I don't know about that I think I could probably do a little bit of it, but let's see how a little bow looks like this. Then we could maybe put that at the base of the flowers. It's certainly not very thick, so it's kind of sweet. Hold on now. Boy, that thing got misshapen, didn't it? Oh, it's very cute. Okay, I hope we can use that. So now let me put this before it gets all jizzed up. Let me put this up on dimensionals. I don't want to start a whole new sheet. That's just silly talk. But I start a whole new sheet a lot of times because the other ones get buried. <laughs> they get buried off to the side or I can't wait. I, I think this is going to be a kit that I'm going to just make all of them and give them all away. Because for one thing, I'm going to have myself some extra canvas bags and so I think I'll do a couple of the pop-up farm stand uh, now that I figured out that that's pretty easy and then I don't know I might do some more with the envelopes because that's easy to um, just decorate a plain white envelope instead of the soft succulent and use this lovely petal pink. I really like petal pink. It very is very very much apricot to me. Good night Susan. We will see you later. Oh and Ross says you notice less dust and lots of yuck in the filter. Well that is a good sign. Right? That is a good sign. It makes a big difference. Okay. I think it's something that I may just have to get used to because I know that bad air makes a big difference to me. Um, in terms of <clears throat> my voice and just, I can just really tell. Okay, let's take our little, which we can use more of these if we want, but I think two is great, actually. Oh, oh, look, how adorable is that? I'm loving that. So sweet. Okay, let me glue this one first. And it looked like we just measured it. Well, 
uh, we got lucky. <laughs> but um, the three inches for the top part looked like it just happened to be perfect. Perfect, I tell you. They just fit. Oh, that is really pretty on that petal pink. Really enjoying that. And then I am going to put, let's see, do we want the tag? I know it says thank you all over it. We could, no, I don't like that. Could, let's just stamp it and see if we like it, okay? I'm not gonna do it in petal pink. I need to do it in Razzleberry, I believe, because petal pink is too light for words. Uh, you can't see it. Yours makes a quiet hum. Yeah, I'm sure this is pretty quiet. It's just that I can hear it. Um, but you know, maybe it'll end up just sounding like something that is good. I don't know. I do listen to the Calm app sometimes, but I only listen to like stories that are like 30 or 35 minutes long. Where's the thinking? Oh, there's thinking of you. Love you a whole bunch. You're the sweetest. Let's do, well, that doesn't have berries involved in it. Let's do, that. No, let's not do anything. Let's just do a tag with a stamp of the greenery on it and see if we like it. And if we do, we'll put it like down here. And if we don't, we don't have to use it. Oh, all righty. Oh, thank you. It is a pretty combination, isn't it? I didn't know. That's why you just start playing around. I mean, I know that we know, right? We play with this stuff every day, but um, you're never quite sure. Now, I think in this case, I do want to run a little bit of linen. Let me do a linen twine bow and see what I think about that. Or where was that little bow again? The bow could be right here. Oh, okay. I talked myself in. I just can't. It's so cute. And I want long tails like that too. That kind of like pull it down into the, pull your eye down into the thank you section. And of course you can do tons of things with that embossing folder. When you really need to have an embossing folder techniques video sometime, don't we? Somebody needs to do that. <laughs> I will do that. Where we just play with our embossing folders all night. Because if you put ink inside the embossing folder and then you run it through the machine, then your high parts of the embossing folder get um, colored with the ink. And it really looks quite impressive. I think that is definitely a, uh, hey, how do they do that kind of technique? Yes, Jean likes it completely quiet and definitely dark. That's because you're the princess in the pea too, aren't you? Yes, and I want, like, I need certain bedding. I'm sure that if I tried more expensive bedding, I'd probably like that even more, but I like percale. <laughs> I like a percale sheet. And, uh, um, down, very light down comforter on top. I don't use a fitted sheet. I can't. I'm too claustrophobic. I was always kicking that thing apart. And then when I went to Vienna, I was like, I realize it sounds highly elitist, but I went to Vienna and that's how they made my bed in the um, little place that I stayed. And I was like, hello, these are my people. They use no top sheet. And so, there you go. That's what I did from then on. Okay, one final step for this pretty, pretty little feminine card. So cute. Is let's stamp um, that greenery on the inside again. Except we will use petal pink. And um, we'll probably use some sort of embellishment, you know. If I can stir something up here. That's supposed to be dry. Okay, a little petal pink. 
never hurt anybody. Oh, yeah, Jean. I am so sure spending a few nights in the hospital. Now I'm going to take this thing. Um, again, sprig. Is it lavender? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I am going to kind of curve it because I want to put it in the corner of the card. And let's see if we can. Because that's one cool thing. Look, that's what you can do with photopolymer stamps to some extent, is you can make them fit the space they're gonna be in, right? So then we're just going to, oh, it's so pretty. Love, that is quite a little stamp. It's very unassuming, but man, so cute. So then once you do that, I do suggest that you just clean it and then peel it off. It probably will keep its shape, but, um, just let it keep its natural shape most of the time. But just know that if you want to curve things or straighten things, you can do a little bit of either. All right, so um, yeah, the hospital, I don't know why they expect you to get any sleep in there or rest. I mean, you're just being observed all the time, right? Carol, let me poke this in your arm. Or were you sleeping? I'm sorry, I need to take your temp. Good. Oh, you need to get up and walk around the hallway. Okay, fine. Oh, I like this little thing. This card has all sorts of little pretties on it, doesn't it? Now, we do have... I think those are Blushing Bride. But, um... These are... What are these called? Pastel Pearls. Pastel Pearls to you and me. Pastel Pearls to Helen Jennings in the UK. And I think that sounds so sweet. So sometimes I find myself saying that without even thinking about it. Oh, and probably Donna Gray has taught me to say that too. Because you know the Australians, they're always trying to be fancy. How about this one? Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I like that. Castle Pearls. Annual catalog, can't be beat. <laughs> oh man, hey, I have had so much fun with this kit and I still have so many supplies. So that's the totally fun thing, right? About having all of these super cool supplies from the paper pumpkin kit is um, you can play with them for a long time. And let's see here. I am going to clear the decks for just one moment. Let me make sure I can sh scoot that stuff over. Looks like it's like coming in regardless of what we do. Here's one of our little, our last made card. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, Kathy loves it too. Thank you. See, you can make and remake this because once you run out of the die cuts, you can just stamp them. Okay, and then we made this little guy. Oh, hello. Bop, check it out. I'm a farm stand. You're the pick of the crop. And then, of course, the cards as designed. Couldn't be any cuter. Thinking of you with some cheese. Notice I just focused on the cheese. <laughs> There's the cart with the wheels. And then finally, here's a nice little choice of berries. Delish. That's always my favorite at the market. Please don't forget that these are beautiful envelopes, but that is where this paper came from, right? I just took apart one of the envelopes and was able to cut that down. And then absolutely don't forget that you get this cute little tote. Now I am going to put up the, um, let's see. Nope. I had a 50, 50 chance. There we go. So I'm gonna put the order number up for these bags. Again, you do need to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to purchase more of these, um, more of these bags. But they are $13 for four, and at least three of the cards with envelopes fit in there really nicely. And wouldn't this be such a cute gift to take to anyone, really? I mean, berries are masculine and feminine, so it'd be the cutest gift. 
I'm going to take them to my friends and then I'll take a picture of them being super excited, right? But don't forget, cut your pieces and parts apart and do some fun stuff with them because the alternates are just as much fun as the cards as designed, okay? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. That was fun. That was a really fun Friday night. What a nice way for me to start the weekend. And so, of course, I'll be seeing you again soon. But in the meantime, please like, share. If you are on YouTube, hello, YouTubers. Thank you so much. Please do the same. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, once I have enough viewers, over, or once I have enough subscribers on YouTube, I'll be going live there at the same time. So um, if you would like to see that happen, please just hit that subscribe button and follow me for uh, this and much more in the world of paper crafting, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate all of you. I'll be reading your comments and answering questions and uh, appreciate it. Have a great weekend.